Dear children, circles. Today we will discuss ninth class. Ninth class circle we will discuss children. Okay, CBSE textbook. Important theorem I will say children first. The important theorem in this lesson is degree measure. Very 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 important. If you understand degree measure theorem children, it's enough. What is the specialty of degree measure theorem? Means it will have three cases. All cases are same, but you should understand. Okay children. Before saying degree measure theorem, I want to tell you about some basic concepts about the circle. Slowly, I will say this. Children, this is called radius. Children, this is called radius. I hope you all know. It. Same radius if I extend, it will become diameter. I hope you all know. It. Same diameter if I bring down, it will become chord. Same chord if I extend outside on both sides. It is called secant. It is called secant. Same secant. If I bring it down and touch at one side, one point, if the line is touching at one point, then that is called tangent. Radius tangent. If it is not touching the center chord, if it is not touching the center chord, if chord is extended on both sides secant, if secant is brought down, it is called tangent. And this is called circumference. And this. Inside is called a of the circle. Okay, children. So these are some of the important points about the circle, children. Especially, you should know what is a chord. What is a chord which is not passing through the center? Why right? is not passing through the center? This is called chord. Chord can be in any direction. Okay. How many chords are possible in the circle? Means many that are infinite. You can't say this many chords are possible infinite. Okay, children. So before saying about degree measure theorem, in fact, all the basics I want to know. You want to know about. You, want, you should know about the circle. Let's go to the degree measure theorem. Very, very interesting theorem. Very, very interesting theorem. Three cases will be there. I will be saying how the reason. First case I will say given children so that you will not get any confusion. This is the center of the circle. This is this. This is of the radius. This is of the radius. Children. If it is given like this. If it is given like this. This is always open. This is some A, I will say this is some B, I will say this is some C, I will say this one. Okay, children, what we have to prove? Required to prove is, required to prove is, required to prove is, angle AOB, when we children, this angle is two times of angle APB. This angle is two times of this angle. That's all we have to prove. Okay, children? So, how do you give, tell the statement? The angle made by the sector in any, this is a sector. This is a sector. This is a sector. The angle made by the sector in any part of the circle is double to that of angle made by any other part of the sector. This, this both lines should coincide. If this low, both lines, this is big sector and this is small sector. This is this sector, is, this angle is double that of this angle. Okay, children, that's the axis. Very, very easy theorem, children. Okay. This is case one, children. Now, I don't want to disturb the original figure. I am showing here. Please, children, listen. If you listen one time, you will never forget, children. That's what Chindi theorem is, actually. Okay. The name, in the, the name sounds a little bit uh, different, but it's very easy theorem. Shall I just for our understanding? I am, I am, I am putting like this. I am putting something okay, like this. Okay, now we see, children. This is one, this is two, this is three, this is four, this is five, this is six. Okay, children. Now, anyone who wants to see me, what is angle one? Can anyone say what is angle one? I will see who is it. Exceeded angle, sir. Yeah, exterior angle only means angle 3 plus angle 4. Okay, exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. Exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. Exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. This is exterior angle is equal to sum of interior. Can anyone say what is angle 2 now? Angle 2? If I angle 5 plus angle 6. Very good. Angle 5 plus very good. Angle 6. Same children. Exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. It's over children. You are not able to understand. It's over. Okay. Why is it over? I'll say. 
just listen to them. This is Oma. Children, OA and OP are equal. Can anyone say why? OA and OP are equal. Can anyone say why? Sir, so because the two triangles are congruent. Because they both are radius. Oh. They radius. Both are radius, children. This and this are equal because they are radius. Radius are equal, children. So because three and four are equal, these both are equal. Because these both are also equal, five and six are also equal. So can I say, children, angle one? Can I write as two times of angle four? Anyone? Yes, three and four. sir. Because three and four are equal. Because three and four are equal. Why three and four are equal? Radius angle. Radius. Yes. Base angle. Radius. And in the same way, five and six are equal. Because five and six are equal, can I write uh, five and six as two times of angle five? Yes. Why base angle? So, what children? Now add both. If I add both, see children, last step one. Angle one plus angle two is equal to two times of angle four plus two times of angle five. Okay? One plus two is what children? One plus two is what? Anyone? A O B. Angle A O B. Angle A O B is two you take comma and two you. Angle four plus angle five? A P B. A P B. Hence proved. Go watch it. That's it. First case. Are you happy? What is that you feel happier? I am saying, are you understanding children? Is it, is it okay? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. So, didn't understand? Yeah. One can be written as 3 plus 4. Two can be written as 5 plus 3. But 3 and 4 are equal. 5 and 6 are equal. 3 and 4 I am writing as 2 times of 4. 5 and 6 I am writing as 2 times of 5. So, 1 plus 2 is 2 times of 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5 is nothing but A, B, B. 4 plus 5 is nothing but A, B, B. 4 plus 5 is nothing but A, B, B. So, A, O, B is 2 times of A, B. Simple example here. Simple example here. Suppose if it, this is 30 degrees. What will be this? Anyone? 60 degrees. 60 degrees. That's it. Suppose this is 80 degrees. What will be this? 40 degrees. 40 degrees. 40 degrees. 40 degrees. That's it, children. But it should be at the center. Number one, it should be at the center. This should be at the center. And this line and this line should coincide. Then only this uh, theorem is possible. Degree measure theorem. It is called degree measure theorem. This is case one. Okay, children. I hope you will. Children, every uh, case one, case two, case three, same proof. Figures only will differ. Same proof. What same proof, sir? Show me, sir. You say. I'll show. Now I'm going for case two. I'm rubbing this. Later you'll see in the recording, children. Okay. Now I'm going for case two. I hope you understood this. Case two. What is case two mean? Same children, same, see. First case one was like this much. Case one was like this one. Now case two, this one and this one I will make straight. Straight means what side you ask. Like this. I won't make like this. Okay. See, they are both are coming from center. And this line and this line are coinciding. This is OI2, this is BI2, this is BI2, this is PI2. And this I took it as what? P. And this I took 1, this I took 2, this I took 3, this I took 4, this I took 5, this I took 6. Same children again. What is same? Can anyone say angle 1 is for Dhamma? Angle 3 plus angle 3 plus angle 4. Very good children. Can anyone say angle 2? Angle 5 plus angle 5 plus angle 6. Now, angle 1 we can write as what? 2 times of angle 4. Angle, angle, angle 4. Angle 2 can be written as what? 2 times of angle 6. Why? Because 3 and 4 are equal. 5 and 6 are equal. Because? Why they are equal? Because it's base angle. Base of isosceles angle. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to 2 times of angle 4 plus 2 times of angle 5. 1 plus 2 is what, children? Please mute your audios. Diameter. AOB is equal to 2 times of 4 plus 5 is what children? APB. APB. Hence, proved over the same proof. I'm telling you, every, say, all cases are same, but diagram is But what is the funniest thing on this uh, absolute set? In degree major theorem, this second case also is one theorem. In degree major theorem, this second case is also one theorem. Then you will ask, what is the theorem? I mean, what is the theorem? Yes, sir. Children, can anyone say? 
this is a straight line if this is a straight line this angle will be how much 180 degree 180 degree 180 degrees is equal to 2 times of apb 180 degrees is equal to 2 goes down so apb is equal to 90 degrees so what is this theorem called as a angle in semi circle is 90 degrees angle in semi circle is 90 degrees then you get the observe what is angle in semi circle chill and if this is going to the center this is half circle this is half circle yes or no say yes sir yes sir sir, sir. now is it angle in semi circle yes sir yes sir angle in semi circle is 90 then you will ask you what is the funny sir what is it is that please mute your audio sir i am getting disturbance please all of you this okay children same figure i can draw like this also you should never get confusion when someone ask you like same figure children Please mute your audio, Samma. Someone is talking. Okay. Same figure, children. Same figure. I can draw like this also. Same figure. I can draw like this also. Same figure. I can draw like this also because this is ninety. This is ninety. This is ninety. This is ninety. All are ninety, children. Finally, what I want to say is angle in a semicircle is ninety degrees. I want to just to say that angle in a semicircle is ninety degrees. Okay, I compulsory like this only it should come. You don't think children like that? I'm not saying compulsory should come like that. It should come, but it should pass through the center. It can come like this also. So this is also ninety degrees. Children. Okay, it can come like this also. Children. It can come like this also. Children. But this should pass from the center because and then only it will become semicircle. And in center is ninety. And in center is ninety. And in center is ninety. And in semi circle is ninety. And in semi circle is ninety. It can be come anywhere, but remember this should be diameter. Then only it becomes half circle. So finally, children, in degree measure theorem, the second theorem uh, statement is: and in semi circle is ninety degrees. Prove me the other two. Second case. If I ask degree measure theorem, all three cases you have to prove. If someone asks, prove and in semi circle is ninety degrees. Prove only second case. Those who did the question again, I am saying. Degree measure theorem. If I ask, you have to prove all three cases. If anyone asks, prove angle in semi circle is ninety. Prove only second case. This is second case. Children, are you comfortable with the second case? I hope you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yes. Very good, children. Very good. Very good. Please mute your audio. Now third case, children. Third case. Please, Nana. Someone is talking, Nana. Someone, parent is talking. I am getting disturbance. Okay, so it's a third case. Children, if you see third case, it will be like this. Children, this was the first case. I hope everyone remember. This was the first case. Children, this was the second case. I hope everyone remember. This is the second case. Now, this is your third case, children. What is the third case? This is center of the area. Like this, children. So first, this was like this, no? This became straight. Now this I will make like this too. Understood? First it was. Sir, like, can you move the camera a bit down? Chill. First it was like this, children. Right? Next it became straight. Now this is becoming like this. See, children. First here it was like this. Second it was like this. Third case it is become. But this should be central, children. Again. It should be center, and this both lines should be that sort. O, P, A, B. Okay, children. This is P, P, whatever it is. Children, this is one. This is two. This is three. This is four. This is five. This is six. Again, two feet safe, children. Very, very easy. You know all the options. One is equal to angle three plus four. Three plus four. Two is equal to five plus six. One is equal to two times of Angle four. Angle four. Two is equal to two times of angle five. Angle five. Angle one plus angle two is equal to two times of angle two times of angle four. Two times. So angle one plus angle two is A O B. Mute your audio. Mute your audio. A O B. Two times of angle four plus angle five. Again, angle A O B can be written as two times of four plus five is angle A B. That's it. Proof is same, children. Everywhere proof was same. Proof never differentiated. Only diagrams got differentiated. That's what I'm saying from the beginning. 
It's very, very, very beautiful theorem, interesting theorem, and very easy theorem. It's very easy to learn. 1 is equal to 3 plus 4 because HT derived. And 3 and 4 are equal, 5 and 6 are equal because they both are base angles. Radius, radius, so equal angles. So radius are equal, angles are equal. Radius are equal, angles are equal. Radius are equal, angles are equal. Then we add it, then we got down. Is it easy, children? Ah. Okay, children. So 1 is equal to 3 plus 4, 2 is equal to 5 plus 6, 1 is equal to 2 times of angle 4 because both are equal. 2 is equal to 5 plus 6 because both are equal. 1 plus 2 is equal to 2 times of 4 plus 2 times of 5. 2 take common 4 plus 5 plus 6. So 3 cases. First case, second case, third case. Okay, children. This first case, they can ask in any way, children. Don't think it should come like that only. They can ask like this also, children. Okay, understood. See, this is the center. This both lines are joining. Like that also, they can ask. Okay, this figure, this figure, if they want, See children, they can draw like this also. I'm telling you, this is the original from the center. Okay, they can draw like this. 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 Any way they can draw children. You should be in a position to identify that which is part to the center. This is your degree major theorem. Whenever anyone say degree major theorem, three guesses I Whenever anyone says degree major theorem, immediately we will say the same way always. That is our practice. We will say same way. Angles in the same segment are equal. Why? This is they both are interrelated. If you understood this, that you will understand it. Second theorem, children. So degree major theorem, three cases I told. This is first theorem. Okay, children. This is first theorem. 